Hello, my friends. Ariana Pinar here, holistic therapist and studying clinical aromatherapist. I am in the process of making a little chest balm for myself. This is really helpful during times of seasonal allergies or just at times of the year where I feel like I'm a little bit heavy in the chest. Also really great to breathe this in because it helps with invigorating the lungs and I also use this little blend for a lot of my breathwork practices as well. I've decided to add in my own little blend of essential oils, including eucalyptus, lavender, Roman chamomile, peppermint, and cardamom. And this will be really helpful and soothing for the respiratory system and also for my nervous system as well. And what I'm gonna use for this is cocoa butter, the hard pieces. I'm going to use coconut oil, the original coconut oil, so the thick one. So I've purchased these little pill boxes from the supermarket or the pharmacy, and I'm gonna use this for my little salve and my balm. So you can, with this little mixture, fill up quite a few of these little jars, and you can use it for an extended period of time. So I've gone ahead and measured out 100 grams of the coconut oil and 25 grams of the cocoa butter. To make it really easy, I've got a little bowl with a milk jug and I've just popped the kettle on boil. Placing the milk jug inside the bowl, I'm going to fill up the bowl with the boiling water, making sure that I'm careful not to spill the hot water over my hands. Add the coconut oil into the jug. and the cocoa butter as well. And so over time, not long, but over time, this little mixture will melt. If you have a double boiler, this might be easier for you to do it on a stove, but I'm in no rush. So I can wait for this to melt. One of the things that really does help the melting oh. process is to just gently stir the mixture. Peppermint oil acts as a decongestant and an antiseptic. It's used quite commonly for indigestion, sinusitis, and can also be used as an antispasmodic. So we wanna use it in this blend specifically for its anti-inflammatory, expectorant, and just general health and well-being for the respiratory system. Roman chamomile, one of my absolute favorites. I use this a lot for calming the nervous system, but it's also great for muscle pain, asthma, anxiety, migraines, uh, and just basic nervous system regulation as well. So adding a few drops of Roman chamomile is a really beautiful way for us to ensure that the nervous system and of course, respiratory system is being taken care of. It's not really an oil that you would reach for uh, if you have asthma, but it's, a, it's an incredible oil for managing the symptoms of asthma. Of course, we have eucalyptus as part of this blend. Uh, we know, and you probably already use eucalyptus to help relieve nasal and chest congestion. But what you probably don't know is that eucalyptus can help to release and loosen phlegm. So when you take a deep breath in of eucalyptus, you're helping to treat bronchitis, you're helping to soothe coughs and even help with symptoms of the flu. See, I'm just breaking up the cacao butter, slowly but gently pressing my spoon up against the edge of the milk jug that any lumps are being dissolved. Cardamom is an oil that we don't really think about when it comes to the respiratory system but it is an antiseptic and helps with conditions such as bronchitis so we're really using cardamom here to help us make sure that whatever it is that we're experiencing doesn't turn into something a little bit more serious and then my friends last but certainly not least lavender a nervine tonic that can also help to reduce inflammation caused by allergies and asthma so if you add a few drops of lavender, even to a diffuser when you're experiencing seasonal allergies, lavender will help you 
to breathe easier. Now we're at the point where we add our essential oils in. So your blend is completely up to you. The dilution ratio is completely up to you. For me, I'm going to add three drops of eucalyptus, peppermint, and lavender each, and two drops of cardamom and Roman chamomile each. And of course, this smells amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna blend or mix the oils into the solution. And now just being really careful that the jug isn't too hot still, you'll fill your containers. And now we'll take these and pop them directly into the fridge. leave them there until they're completely solidified. You push them to the back of the fridge if you feel like you want it to get done a little bit quicker. And before you know it, it'll be ready. It is now an hour later. I've grabbed these little balms out of the fridge. Really, really beautiful consistency. So you can see that you can just scrape out. And if I show you on my hand, becomes a little soothing balm that you can rub in. Pop it onto your chest, put it underneath your lip. Mm, it smells so good. And use on the soles of your feet as well. Enjoy.